Hey guys, the chicken is here. We are back today with another home gym video. In today's video, guys, we are going to be reviewing the Synergy Fitness Safety Squat Bar. This is a great. Great kind of middle of the road budget safety squat bar, uh, especially for those of you in Canada. I really like it because I think the uh, the quality and the price point are really you know right on. I don't think there's really a need unless you really want to spend more money and get something that that looks a little bit nicer um, in in terms of you know general use. And for the price, you can't really beat this. It's you know kind of. Um, it's not the the lowest cost but absolute budget barbell you could get but it's a nice kind of middle of the road so i wanted to bring this to you guys i think it'll be a good buy uh, if you're interested on in just going straight to the website and reading the stuff uh, i'll have a link to that in the video description um so let's go over some of the the specs on it and then i'll give you kind of my take i've been using it for about a month now uh just exclu exclusively i have not been uh, been doing barbell back squats i've only been using uh the safety squat bar that we can see here so 25 kilogram bar, so that's going to be uh, 50, what, 4 pounds, 50 pounds, something like that. Um, yeah, I think it'll be 55 pounds, which is pretty average for a safety squat bar. Um, the benefit of a safety squat bar is with the, the cambered, cambered, um, with, with the cambered structure of it, it's going to, and obviously with the, uh, with, with the handles and the padding and stuff, um, it, it's going to keep the pressure off of your lower back and allow you to use more It's almost like a front squat kind of or like a really high bar squat um, relieves the pressure off your shoulders and you know allows you to um, To perform a squat and you know less load and less tension through the through the shoulders Obviously and less tension less load a little bit on the lower back depending how you do it. So 25 kilograms, it's got 50 millimeter sleeves so obviously that's going to support uh, Olympic weight plates um, the, the handles are 30 millimeters and as we can see here, uh, I'll move the camera in a little bit closer. And as we can see here, I'll move the camera in a little bit closer. We have a, a beautiful diamond knurling. This is a standard knurling. It's not super aggressive. It's not super passive and I have not had any issues with it. I've quite enjoyed, um, you know, if anything, it could probably be a little bit more aggressive if you're a bit of a knurling slob, snob. <laughs> um, but I haven't had any issues with it and I, I quite like the feel of it. Um, it has the uh, protective padding. So if there was one thing I was to, to nitpick on this, it would be that the, uh, the pad isn't great, but you can see it's, uh, it just simply wraps around. Um, it attaches with Velcro, so you could take it off if you wanted to, um, but it's comfortable. You know, I don't have any problems with it. It's, uh, you know, it fits well. Some safety squat bars, they'll, they'll have the handles like a little bit further apart and um you know this is good uh, i forget what the width is i think it's 11 and a half inches um but this is good because it's going to fit most people i mean unless you're like massive massive for reference i'm like just over six foot and 230 pounds and you know i wouldn't need anything wider than this and uh, you know it feels good i've also had some of my friends train it with it um I think uh, my my buddy's girlfriend, she's like 5'2", and she was able to use it fine, and uh, kind of an aside, but what's really cool about the safety squat bar is it's a little bit easier of a squat pattern to learn, so if you're more of a beginner, it's a great tool um, to just kind of learn how to do the squat better, and you know, if you're not, then it's just a nice accessory to have, obviously, so um, yeah, so the, the, the padding works, the spacing is fine, and I don't have any issues with that. So for this bar, there's two options. There's chrome and there's black phosphate. So here's what the black phosphate one looks like. Um, you can see that right there. So phosphate is, um, it's kind of like a cheaper oxide, but it, it gives you the coloring and a little bit of rust prevention. The chrome is more susceptible to rust uh, than stainless steel. But I mean, unless you're lifting like on a boat in the ocean, like you're not really gonna have any issues with stuff just rusting away, especially if you're in a climate controlled environment like a basement or a garage with air conditioning in the summer. Um, yeah, so I mean, if you like the color, they're, they're both the same cost. Um, they're both the same cost, so it, it just comes down to, uh, to personal preference for that. What is cool with Synergy is they also offer a rewards program. So if you do like buying stuff from them, which I tend to do because they're Canadian and they're, I've been really impressed with them uh, so far in terms of quality and that kind of stuff. And, um, you know, they're good, kind of cheap, middle of the road, like I said. Um, 
so they offer financing. Uh, they, they offer financing. They have a rewards program. Uh, there's a full warranty on it and everything like that. Um, so let's get into some of the specs. So the length is 86 and a half inches. That's for both the black phosphate and for the chrome. Uh, it has a thousand pound weight capacity. So more than enough for the uh, for the average lifter. Uh, typically a thousand pounds is what we see. Um, I think some of the like higher end barbells uh, will go up to like 1500, but you know, that's just kind of a rating and they, they definitely like, they say that as the, as the limit, it definitely can hold more than that. Um, so it's, it's solid, it's solid. The diameter, like we said, it's 50 millimeters across. Um, the handle diameter is 30 millimeters and typically, uh, the millimeters on a regular barbell is going to be about 28 millimeters. So safety squat bars are built a little bit thicker, a little bit beefier, um, in that regard. Also, the uh, the handle length is going to be 4.75 inches, so that's what you have to uh, to grip at the end. Um, and the loadable sleeve length is 11 and a quarter inches. Um, I think it's a little bit smaller than usual. I'm not 100% sure, but I mean, if you're using like you're going to be able to load up seven plates on it probably, so shouldn't have any issues there. Unless you're Ray Williams, then you might have some problems. But um, yeah, I, I love it. You know, it's uh, they tout it as a sleek, ergonomic design. And it just looks good, you know, it, it just, it's a good looking bar and, you know, you could spend a lot more money at some other companies and honestly, I don't think the benefit is there. I don't think the value is there. Um, yeah, so I think this is a great middle of the road barbell for most people. Um, you know, if you want to pick up a safety squat bar, it's definitely one of Synergy's more expensive products, but I think that goes with, uh, you know, with, with reason, like we said, it's a beefier uh, it's a beefier bar, right? It's thicker, it's longer, it's bigger, you know, it's got the nice padding on it, it's got, um, you know, it's got the fine knurling. And, uh, you know, you can see some of the little stuff here, it is welded really nice, no issues there. So, you're not going to have any issues on this bar at all, guys. Um, I've done another review video where I just kind of go over, um, you know, general use and that kind of thing. So, we can see the end caps here too, they look nice and clean, we get that Synergy logo. And right there, 55 pounds. So we got to the bottom of that at least. So yeah, that's my initial thoughts. And like I said, I've been using this bar for um, almost a month exclusively. So let's talk. So about the reason that I like safety squat bars in general, and like I said, I've been using this bar um, exclusively for the last little bit. Um, it allows you to like, for me personally, I have some problems with my shoulders just with, you know, too much bench pressing. Um, this is nice because it takes the load completely off the shoulder. You could have like separated shoulders and well, maybe not separated, but you could have really bad shoulders and you can use this. Uh, you, you'll notice a lot of the big benchers, they use like a safety squat bar or a cambered bar or something like that, just because it, you know, it takes the, the tension off the shoulders. Typically you'll do a little bit less on a safety squat bar compared to your real squat. I think it's like 75, 80% um, of your one rep max you could do on a regular bar, you would do on a safety squat bar. And that's just because you know how we said that we that we use it as you can see it uh, forces you into a more upright position um but yeah i, I really like this it, it makes my back feel a lot stronger um just throw that down <clears throat> i like the position that it forces you into it's definitely been one of my weak points so i've been glad to uh, to have this to be able to work on some of those um as it kind of forces you into more of an upright, better position. And like I said before too, I think it's a good tool for beginners or early in intermediates, um, just to kind of force that, that movement pattern and force you into that upright position. Um, yeah, kind of prevents you. I mean, if you're someone like me that typically like rounds over when you squat or you deadlift, this is a great tool to even help your deadlift really, because it's going to force you to work on those anterior muscles. Um, not to get too sciencey. Um, that, you know, it's just gonna help you out in the long run. So that's all I got to say, guys. Uh, I really like the bar. And like I said, if you wanna check it out, there's a link in the video description down there. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. We will catch you in the next one. Chicken out, back, back.